we've come to Coober Pedy to try and see one of the great natural phenomenons in Australia, the flooding of Lake Eyre. The devastating floods in Queensland have a silver lining. The water that has flooded and caused so much devastation is moving southward into the Great Artesian Basin, bringing life to the river systems and filling Lake Eyre. It's a fantastic opportunity to see the lake with water. So the flight's in a small Cessna and it's just a four-seater, Sandy and I and the pilot. The first thing we notice is just how far it is, even just to get to the lake. It takes over an hour just to reach the edge of the lake. We fly straight to the northern end where the Warburton River is flowing in to the top of the lake. And you can see how it's channeling across the country and starting to flood into the lake, but it's not full yet. So you can see how it's still like a river running through the middle of the top of Lake Eyre and we're told that the lake has not been full since the 70s, about 1974 and it only fills about four times every century so in a way it's a once in a lifetime thing to see and from top to bottom it's just massive. When it's full it's the largest lake in Australia. It's about 144 kilometres long by about 77 kilometres wide and usually it's only about five feet deep so incredibly big but very shallow and then we fly south right down the full length of the lake and you can see as you go south it's really filling up almost to the edges in the far distance you can see where the salt is still encrusted on the edge of the lake so there's this shimmering white edge to the lake and then the colours are, are layered where you get the, the deeper sections across the, the salt it appears beautiful blue but then where it's deeper in the middle channel it's all muddy and brown so beautiful colours and occasionally you see a flock of birds, pelicans mainly, who have come there from all over Australia to breed. How they know that it's flooding from so far away, I have no idea, but they come and they breed and they end up here in their thousands. Of course this water started coming down the Diamantina catchment back in February when the Queensland cyclone and the Queensland floods were at their worst. It starts to flow right inland through the Diamantina catchment and then heads down the Diamantina River and other major rivers into the Warburton River and then that feeds directly down into Lake Eyre. But that's over a thousand kilometres journey. So you can see why it takes so much water to fill Lake Eyre because it's got so far to come, it evaporates along the way and also just soaks into the dry earth. So for it to actually reach there and start to fill the lake is a, just a staggering amount of water. And then the second half of the flight's down over the Painted Desert, which is one of these remarkable areas of rich colors, deep, reds and oranges through to sandy white colours and that's where all the earth has eroded over the years and it just leaves these uh, vivid colours all over the desert and the hills and, and some of the peaks have not eroded so you end up with these spires uh, sticking up out of, out of the earth like pillars uh, and then it just, the rest of it has just been eroded away down to the desert floor.